great bomb this year. Then to Hassan of the Maldives. Got experience in the World Juniors over the 400 meters. Stepping down in this will be second from the outside in the familiar blue of Scotland and Hobbs will be nearest the camera flying high after that national record on the west coast of the states en route to the world championship semis at the athletics Third. that looked to me like it was Mackenjiwa of Tanzania in lane four I hate seeing disqualifications I know you need to be a great actress <laughs> And it's come up, oh, it's actually come up as Hassan. Well, the, the, move, the move came from the Tanzanian in lane four. Hassan went with her. So, to the letter of the law, we should see a disqualification. For this chance to make the Commonwealth semis, but there you go. Philip England in one. Mahalela of... Eswatini in two, and Gwacha Nigeria three. Well, this time to everyone's relief, they get away. And Gwacha running well, and so too Asher Philip. And on the outside, Zoe Holmes. So the Nigerian. And, and that's quite exciting to see Hog hit her area record again but i think it goes back to that question of um why would someone who has just competed in the world championships in oregon come across all of those time zones and to come and, and race here and i think the exciting thing as an athlete is it's that learning curve you can put into action everything that you learned in those world champs the great run from Hobbs, and great to see ash again ncaa circuit are primed and ready for the outdoor summer season she looked magnificent for that 10.99. The NCAA actually is a great training ground because, again, you have to race so many times. They make you incredibly, incredibly strong. Over the 100 meters. Shane for the Tanzanian. Well, the flags are blowing here. It is getting very windy. And Nguatcha was very quick. 10.99. Brilliant qualification.